What's up, you guys? This is Karmic Endings 1010, where we talk about karmic situations that could be going on in your life at this time that you need to be aware of, or this could just be confirmation that you made the right decision or you're currently making the right decision. Our angels, spirit guides, ancestors of my highest good, please come in and protect me as I channel this current ancestor message for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Current ancestor message for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. All right. All right, Gemini, even Aquarius, as you can see, I got some energy out. This is my third time recording your reading. Okay, I've had like a lot of interruptions. Okay, so interruptions could be significant for some of y'all. Something about interruptions, something about somebody keep trying to interrupt you. Okay, in your situation. All right. So treat your body well. Okay, your ancestors want you to treat your body well. And your ancestors want you to tune in and connect about different ways on how to treat your body well. Okay, so your ancestors want you to tune in and connect about different ways to like help with your body and stuff. So for some of you guys, there are going to be new ways. There are going to be new things that you start doing. Your ancestors are going to put in you to start doing. That's going to help increase, you know, your power. Okay, in some shape or form. All right. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. All right. Yeah, meditate and contemplate. Yeah, great teacher. I'm telling you. For some of you guys, it's going to be something that it's going to be a teacher that's going to teach you something. When it comes to your body. And you need to tune in and connect because this person was sent from your ancestors to help you with your body. Yeah, a time for healing. I'm telling you, it's something to do with your body. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. All right, I'm telling you. Take a breathe out. Shape shift. I'm telling you. So for some of you guys, you could be um, getting ready for some kind of very intense transformation in your energy. I'm telling you, the energy is gaining momentum. So there is somebody in your energy that's going to really help you when it comes to your body, okay, in some shape or form, all right? This is a person that's going to give you some kind of advice when it comes to your body, what you should do. And I feel like that this person <clears throat> is linked to your ancestors to help you um, get ready for something that's coming up that you're going to be needing to do, okay, or something like that. So there's somebody that's coming towards you to help you, help you with some, help you with something, okay? I feel like that there's going to be a teacher to help you with your gifts. So there is going to be a teacher that's going to like, for some of y'all, this teacher is going to really like help you with something when it comes to your gifts. Somebody is going to be sent to you to help you. All right, let's see. I'm hearing it's something that you could have uh, wished on or manifested on on the new moon, new moon in Pisces. So whenever the new moon in Pisces, I feel like that there is something that you could have manifested or something like that that could be coming into fruition. Okay? But it's taking you to have to uh, go through some kind of like uh, a lot of situations when it comes to your body, like really healing your body and getting your body, like making sure your body is right. Okay? Like on a um, healthy level. For some of you guys, you could have been led to start meditating more. Um, and different things like that for some of you guys as well. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. I'm telling you, <clears throat> your commitment I'm hearing is being tested right at this time. Yeah, when it comes to your position. So whatever position that you play in your life, I feel like that. Um, yeah, I feel like that divine is getting you ready. That's what I'm hearing. Divine is getting you ready for your calling. With the commitment and the uh, initiation, this is giving me like, yeah, this is giving me that energy, y'all, for real. This is giving me that energy. All right. All right, y'all. I'm here... I just start rubbing my hands. So for some of y'all, you're going to be really like rubbing your hands. Okay. I don't know why that rubbing alcohol looks like that behind my nails. 
probably because of that. All right, y'all. Let's see. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Let's do this current karmic energy for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So it's some kind of position that your divine that divine is getting you ready for, but a lot of you guys need to get your body ready first. So it's like a lot of healthy things that you could be being led to do and stuff like that, you know, to get your body ready for your journey, you know, for your next step is what I'm hearing. So definitely listen to the downloads you're getting about, you know, adding different things, you know, to your diet, you know, taking things away. Okay. Yeah, I feel like that this current karmic energy uh is watching you. This this the uh this masculine is like um upset because their mind spells is not working. And this person could be watching you is what I'm seeing here. So we're gonna get a little bit of information on the situation. Gemini even Aquarius. So somebody is mad that their mind games isn't working. I feel like that this person could be watching you because I feel like a lot of you guys, your gifts is unfolding, okay, in front of someone. <laughs> your gifts is unfolding in front of someone that could have tried to mentally uh, fuck you up, okay, or something like that. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. What's going on with this current karmic energy? Ace of Swords fell out. Okay, and then we had High Priestess. I feel like that your intuition is on point. So whoever this is that you're thinking about, you write about, something to do with a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, or a Pisces. Yeah, exactly. I feel like you already know who was doing this shit on you. And this person that was doing this shit on you, I feel like that this person could be in their head because they know that you know and it's not working because you got some clarity about who was trying to mind fuck you or something like that into a situation for some of y'all could be a contract somebody was trying to mind fuck you into a contract and then now this person could be playing the victim because um you didn't let them mind fuck you or something like that so somebody could be upset that somebody didn't let somebody mind fuck them so now this person could have been um trying to do some kind of manipulation energy to somebody because somebody didn't let them play them or something like that somebody was mad that somebody wasn't wasn't able to overtake somebody's mind or something like that all right somebody is committed to their work to their to what they do for work or something like that is also what i'm hearing something to do with the 14th of the month or the first of the month all right Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Let's see. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Let's see. Restless energy. I'm telling you. Guidance. All right? So for a lot of you guys, you are being guided right now. Okay? In this situation. You are definitely guided right now. To definitely take care of your energy for real okay i'm hearing that for some of y'all this masculine could have been partying real hard with somebody or something like that or this person could be partying to try to like get some things off their mind about what they did to you whoever this person was this could be a manager of yours this could be like an ex of yours for some of y'all for some of y'all, this is somebody that tried to get with you or something like that. And this person could be upset that they tried to mind fuck you and the mind games didn't work because you a high priestess. You a high priestess. So the mind games didn't work and somebody real real upset about that shit. They upset that the mind games didn't work on you. Because <laughs> somebody was banking on that shit to work is what I'm hearing. Yeah, that earth sign the hater. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Yeah, something to do with a T. Yeah, somebody can have a tongue piercing. Huh. 
current energy. Current energy. All right. Something to do with slim thick could be significant. So somebody could be slim thick. Somebody could love Starbucks. So for some of y'all, um, this is like a next level. Like for some of y'all, you're going to a next level or a very important position. And you could be in the midst of getting prepared for it. So congratulations. All right. Whatever position this is for you guys, you will know. Okay. Because this is something that you're getting prepared for. So I feel like, you know, this is something that, that you definitely would know. This is not going to resonate for any everybody. Okay. Yeah. Mental health issues. All right. We have V. This person that's in their feelings that's watching you. Okay. With the, with the spells not working and shit. This person, I told you, they in their head with the mental health issues. All right. This person's in their head that they couldn't mind fuck you. Yeah, this person pressed as hell, y'all. Janitor or housekeeper. Yeah, somebody could have back tattoos. All right, sleeve tattoo. Somebody could smoke cigarettes. Somebody could have thick eyebrows. We have assistant. Nose piercing. Five five, somebody could be or below. Colored hair, joggers, something about a Capricorn could be significant, or a Virgo, something with 19 or 91, gap teeth, we have L, <clears throat> we have model, wine, left leg and our thigh tattoos, community service, and we have French tip. All right. So that's what I'm getting for you guys. So somebody could have been born on the 19th of the month. All right, is what I'm seeing. Something about uh pineapples or peaches or something like that. <laughs> pineapples and peaches. All right, so somebody throwing down on pineapples and peaches. Okay. Something with Florida. Something with Vietnamese, something with volleyball, something about road rage. <laughs> so somebody could be having like a lot of road rage or something like that. Okay. All right. What else, spirit? That's some shit. Somebody could be like upset about road rage or just having road rage and shit. All right. Let's see Perry. I heard Perry. I heard Pierre. I heard uh, Pamela or something like that. Give me something on this energy gaining momentum for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Energy gaining momentum for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. All right. Energy gaining momentum for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Knight of Swords, Eight of Wands. Okay, so this energy that you in, it's a lot of um, people trying to compete with your energy. But I'm hearing that, yeah, it's like you always get something new to help balance you out. And it's really like disappointing people that have a lot on their shoulders that's trying to fight you for shit. So for some of you guys, it's like your energy is like making people wanna, want to compete with you okay yeah i mean you you have a lot of people yeah look at that magician whatever skill that you do it's like a lot of people is like in competition about whatever it is that you do it's like a lot of people like look at you as competition really really heavy for some of y'all you could be very good at your hands whether that's massaging whatever you do with your hands mechanic okay you do something very good with your hands and it's like people be in competition for that energy because for some of y'all it's like you you do very good at it maybe you don't know how good you really do but a lot of you guys you do very good at it okay and it's like a lot of people's in competition with that and it's like your energy 
Look at this behind that. Your energy is gaining momentum in White Witch because you're magical. You're very magical here. All right, for real, for real. So it's like, it's like your energy just keep going up, going up, going up, going up. Okay. And it's like it's people that they be in co like competition with that. I feel like that it's it's people that's gonna be trying to spit a lot of shit at you. Okay, but I feel like it's not gonna hit you though. It's gonna do like a boomerang effect, is what I'm hearing. So it's like your energy is getting more and more powerful, which is making like people have a lot of like um faster like when when they get their karma, it's a lot faster now or something like that. Like it don't take a long time for people to to start getting fucked up. Okay, is what I'm hearing. Because it's like you're really growing, like in your energy and in your, in the spiritual realm. Okay, it's like you know, yeah. Something about a PDF file. I heard PDF file. All right, as well. Something about Louis Vuitton. Okay. And I did say 1981. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave it there. Like, comment, and subscribe. Look in the description box below for any other information about me. And until next time, peace.